Hi. Most of you know me as the author of the Master Book of Herbalism. Um, it's a book that I've been really blessed to have in print for a very long time. Uh, it came out in 1984. I finished writing it in probably 82. I was much younger then. At the time, one of the things I wanted in the book, and Doug Brown, the publisher, was kind enough to really encourage me to do that, was the magical information on herbs, because I feel that it's particularly important. Um, the, I think that science tends to dismiss it, but it's part of understanding the energy of the herbs to, to learn the stories that people have told in order to remember certain qualities, certain things that the plants do, other than direct physiological things. Um, it's very interesting. So I had gathered up quite a bit of information, and I put it into this book. Um, and assumed that it was all really good information. What I learned, though, over time, and not much time after the book came out, was that some of those sources were not academically sound, I think would be a, a courteous way of putting it. So I started all over. I went through the information that I had. I went to Mrs. Greaves' Herbal. I went through those two volumes line by line by line and extracted anything that was useful. I went to LaRousse Mythology, I went to all manner of books. And then a number of years passed, and I had another book come out. This one, I really like this book. Um, at this time, I had 330 herbs. That seems like so many, but um, in our pharmacopoeia, we work with about 120, and that's really a lot. So 330 herbs I had. Uh, footnotes galore, everything was documented. Uh, the footnotes would have added more than 100 pages to this book, which was already over 500 pages long. And so Mr. Brown kindly said no and had them edited out, but uh, the information was still there. So after that book came out, this was in uh, 90, maybe 90 something, 98, copyright is 98. I finished writing it probably in 96. It takes about two years for a book to work its way through. Um, after that, I encountered some really, really interesting information. I came across the study of ethnobotany and spent quite a bit of time exploring that. I tracked down some books. I came across the book by Daniel Mormon, Native American Ethnobotany. Um, I went through that book line by line, and I started accumulating many books, a lot of them from the subcontinent, from India. Um, I have a great book from South Africa. Um, I have some, we have a great library. Um, it would be a little tedious to take you to the library. It's back on the other side there, book by book, and tell you why those books are terrific. But you're welcome to figure out a way to come here and spend some time doing research or reading. Um, we have a retreat center now in Houston, Minnesota. Minnesota. Um, so what I have now, instead of 330 herbs, I continue with my research, and I have three of these volumes, like this. And these are nothing but the indi individual herbs in here, individual plants and species. I have about 2,300 different species of plants with information on them. Um, much of what I had originally in these books is now greatly expanded. Some of these are very short, brief things. Um, this is one, this is a, 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 this is from the book Zulu Medicinal Plants. It's a book on the ethnobotany of the Z plants used by the Zulu people in the southern, almost a third of Africa. It's a remarkable book. Um, I have a lot of, lot of interesting information. And these three volumes, people often ask me if I wouldn't publish them, but um, it's too big, um, too massive. The type of, of work that would I would have to guarantee being selling enough copies to even consider putting it in print, not to mention the amount of time it would take to edit. Um, I have some, some thought, I have some information though that goes through these. I've got indexes, indices, um, in terms of things that they're used for, the individual plants, all the names. It's, um, it's an ongoing research project. 
and it's really been a great passion of mine. It's part of what our library is for, um, the one, the herbal section, and I would like to find some people who might be interested in coming and spending a week um, during the summer, spending a week at helping with the research. It's really something that someone who's interested in plants and in their energy and in the stories that we've learned from all these people, that it would be just a great thing to have. So that's just a short thing on um, where I've gone with herbal magic and the religious practices and ceremonial practices and all sorts of things. I could talk for hours, but this is just a short introduction. So thanks. Thank you a whole lot.